do y'all ever realize how hard it was growing up being light skinned? Like dead ass serious. Like being light skinned, period. Just it's one thing to be black. But to be light skinned and black, bro, whole nother fight. You gotta fight with the world and you gotta fight with your own people. Hey. Bro, you are not black. Boy, you are white passing every day. Man, for real. Go that way. Okay. Ooh, a black guy. Hey, do a dance. Can you do the doggy? And I, I remember growing up in my neighborhood back home and an African-American black girl said to me, you think you cute because you light skin and got good hair? And I was like, I'm light skin and I got good hair? I'm rolling with these bitches. <laughs> I was like, you know, if we were in slavery, you'd be in the house. And I was like, you know, if we were in slavery, we'd be in slavery. <laughs> what the fuck does my location matter? I'd rather be out in the field with LeBron James. <laughs> Right? Then in the house getting fucked by the Quaker Oats man. Yeah. Pretty girls, just wanted to come on here and talk about what it's like being light skinned in the hood. I'm not from the hood, as you can tell from my voice, because I talk white. At least that's what I've been told all my life. But I would go visit a family that lived in the hood. And let me tell you, when I go visit them, I, be I am either ostracized, pedestalized, my skin is always a mentioned or it's the elephant in the room it's always noticed family members who are darker than you are always comparing their skin color to you that's something i had got a lot i would notice people put their arms against mine to compare their skin colors to mine to see i guess if they were lighter i don't know what they were trying to do if they was to see if they were darker than me i ain't never exper experienced colorism until i went to the hood I'm a military brat, and y'all know I lived in a lot of different countries and states. And I didn't experience colorism until I either went to the hood or went to my HBCU, which is a whole nother story time. But it's always, my skin color is always something that has to be brought up. And I know other light-skinned people who have experienced the same thing. And the, the dark-skinned men are obsessed with Tell me somebody's colorist girl. without saying they're colorist. I know if I'm fucking with you, I'm black and fuck, right? I'm black as shit. Yeah, black is beautiful though, man. So I know if if, if I fuck with a black baby, we will have a black ass baby. So I ain't with that. Why? Cause I'm already black and fuck. So I can't. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, this is an interesting thing. You know what I mean? Like, so if you have a baby, you don't want your baby to be the same complexion as you. Mm -hmm. Why? It's a once in a lifetime thing. Black guys don't even like black girls. That's not true. Huh? No, I like see that a lot. Skin. Dark skin. When it comes to color, yeah, I, I see a lot that a lot. We have black women on our, on our show, say exactly. But that's not only black yeah. thing, because Dominicans too. I have a sister probably darker than you. And her dad's family came to my house to see if she was getting lighter. Mm -hmm. And she's like, she's dark, like y'all. Yeah. My dad is like y'all. Yeah. And they will come to the house to see if she was getting lighter. And they will say it, like, oh, she's getting lighter. Oh, she's getting lighter. Yeah, Dominicans. So it's not, and, not only just black Dominicans, but in the Hispanic culture colorism is very yeah okay. yes people don't speak about that people in my family who are darker than me would just say hey red hey light skin like it's a nickname i remember sometimes getting to the point where i would cover up try to cover up my skin like wear long sleeves and stuff when i would go visit them because i didn't want to deal with that all the time i'm too introverted i have social anxiety i don't want to deal with none of that <clears throat> I don't want to deal with none of that, for real. I didn't like that. The cat, the cat calling is serious, especially when you go into the store. Dark skin hood niggas, like, I don't usually get that from the suburb dudes. I don't. I don't receive colorism the same. I don't. I don't receive it at all. I get the most colorism out of the hood, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. 
they'll even tell you when you're dating them that they specifically are dating you because you're light skin and or they want your they want your genes for their babies. I just said I don't like women with my complexion. I like light skin women. I want you to be lighter than me. I love African American women, but I just don't like my skin complexion. I've dated a lot of men who I found out were colorists. This is or they're trying to flex on their homeboys, showing off, hey, I got a, a red, a red bone. Look at my red bone. We're just like a trophy, an object to people. It's a love-hate relationship with the light skin tone in the hood. We are constantly reminded of our skin color. And I'm not saying all. But all police can go ahead, because I'm not saying all. But it's the sun. And this is from me and from other girls that I've spoken to, people, other light-skinned girls in my family. They're so obsessed with the light-skinned baby thing that they'll check the baby's ears when they're born to see what color they're going to end up turning to. And I think that's so crazy. Let the baby be whatever color it's going to be and love it anyway. They're so pressed to see what color the baby's going to be. Look, I look behind the ear. And there's a lot of bullying with light-skinned girls getting beat up. Their hair getting cut out, and they don't be doing nothing. People just think that they're think that they are better, and that's supposed to be a bad thing. That you think that you are cute. Aren't you supposed to think that you're cute? Isn't that what self esteem is all about? But when a light skin girl thinks that she's cute, it's looked at as a bad thing. Like I don't, I can't even feel like I can say that without it sounding like it's a bad thing because it shouldn't be, and it's not. And that was the gaslighting I had to deal with growing up, thinking that I had to humble myself so nobody would think that I would think that I'm better. But I like to dress cute and nice, and I like to wear makeup and do my hair. I'm sorry I was born with a cute face, so enhancements just times two that. But I should be able to be, I should be able to call myself cute and pretty without feeling like I'm being conceited, just like everybody else. All of us should be able to talk about our, like we should be able to love who we were born as without feeling guilty about it. I used to feel so guilty about being pretty, about being light skinned, but enough is enough. So what do you ladies think? Have y'all been through this? Have you girlies from the suburbs? Have y'all ever went to the hood and had to deal with colorism? Because it seems like, it, to me, when I, it's only when I go to the hoods when I have to deal with colorism. I mean, let me know what you guys' experiences have been. I mean, am I tripping? I always felt like maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe this is all in my head. But I don't know. I just... It's, <laughs> It seems to be an it seems to be an issue that people aren't allowed to talk about. But I'm glad we're starting this space where we can talk about it. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. So I'm Dominican and growing up, my mom was dead ass one of those Dominicans that was like, me no black papi, me no black. She bleached her skin, relaxed her hair, only wear sewing. You can say nigga, but God forbid you wear a do-rag outside. Like my black ass family hated being black. You know what that meant. I could not wear my curly hair out. I couldn't do braids like everybody else. I couldn't wear my curls like everybody else. It had to be straightened and relaxed. And my mom was a celebrity hairstylist. So she had no problem beating my ass in that chair. She had no problem giving me chemical burn and giving me excessive heat damage she didn't let me go natural up until i was 13 and she also tried to bleach my skin she advocated enough for me to get a nose job she said that she wanted to save enough for me to get a nose job so i can look less black now here i am today embracing the fuck out of my blackness now i'm 18 who the fuck is gonna tell me no for any kids going through what i went through where your parents don't let you explore your creativity don't let you embrace your sexuality don't let you embrace your own culture do that shit behind their back and never stop doing what you love to do and definitely educate yourself on the ignorance that's riddled in your family you know the saying ignorance is bliss not everybody has the guts to stand up for what they believe in risk their safety or their sanity one thing i am letting you know is to continue creating continue loving yourself and don't let anybody ever stop you